Hi. Let's talk about New Jersey legislature <laughs> seek to give New Jersey workers back pay from shutdown. State Assembly Speaker Vincent Prito is calling on Governor Chris Christie to use his executive authority to pay the 30,000 to 35,000 employees who lost one to three days of work because of the state budget impasse that sparked the shutdown. At the same time, State Senate President Stephen Sweeney has scheduled a special session 10 a.m. Thursday for the legislature's upper house to vote on a bill that would allow the employees to receive pay for the time they missed. Christie's administration on Friday directed workers who were furloughed to file for unemployment insurance benefits. The inside story of the 2017 NJ shutdown, but Butter wrote in a letter to Christie, a Republican, on Friday that this is neither a fair nor practical way to compensate state government workers who were not responsible for the shutdown and were, as always, more than willing to work that day. The dedicated public servants that work on behalf of our state doing so many important jobs deserve to be treated with dignity and respect, Brito added. Brito suggested Christie authorizing the pay through executive action would be the quickest and most responsible way to resolve this question. The Senate, though, is taking a legislative approach by planning a vote on a bipartisan bill to pay the employees. State workers should not be penalized for the government closure that was completely out of their control, Sweeney, a sponsor, said in a statement. We know that hardworking public employees depend on their paychecks and we want to ensure they don't see them cut as a result of the brief shutdown. The measure would need to pass both the Senate and Assembly and then be signed by Christie to be enacted. A companion bill has not yet been introduced in the Assembly, Tom Hester, a spokesman for Prato, said the Speaker is awaiting Christie's response on his letter and will consider other options if the answer is unsatisfactory. The shutdown was only the second in state history. In 2006, Governor John Courtsine and legislative leaders negotiated an agreement to give workers back pay for the first shutdown, which lasted eight days. Related, three reasons that your office needs a renovation. In the hours before the recent shutdown happened, Christie was asked if workers would get pay this time. Don't count on it, he responded. That was John I'll fight for a good contract for you court scene. I ain't him. A spokesman for Christie's office did not immediately return a message seeking comment Monday morning. The recent shutdown was sparked because the legislature failed to pass a state budget by the constitutionally mandated July 1st deadline amid disagreements with Christie over a separate bill aiming to reform Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, the state's largest health insurance provider. It lasted from July 1 to the 3rd, causing state parks and beaches, as well as motor vehicle commission offices, to be shuttered over the July 4 holiday weekend. More state offices and courts were closed that Monday before legislative leaders worked out a deal just before midnight. Click here for reuse options. Copyright 2017 All Source. For more information, please click my link in the description. Thanks.